Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about how to create sheets and title block in AutoCAD. So let's start. So here already we have completed our HVAC layout here. Now we have to create the sheet and title block. So how we have to create or you can say page setup. So how we have to do the page setup. Okay. So for that, first of all, here you can see uh, one option is given model one is layout so what do you have to do first of all in layout only hit on come here in layout right click right click here you will get the option of move or copy okay so hit on that a move or copy see where you want to move I want to move this layout one and so move to end if you want to create a copy hit on create copy okay one more layout you will get here okay so if you want to copy the layout so in this way you have to copy okay now the next thing is just uh, give the name of layout right click rename it give is as a ground floor okay I want to show the ground floor in my layout so I'm giving ground floor enter okay so same you want to show this first floor here write down first floor layout same again you want to copy you can do it okay so i am deleting from here this layout i don't want so leave it come here in ground floor layout after that you have to delete this rectangle box select that rectangle box delete it first thing is what first you have to select the paper size okay so come here in this uh, a application menu here you will get the option of print page setup hit on that now come here in modified okay now see under printer or plotter you have to just hit on this drop down list uh, select this option dwg to pdf okay and here you have to select the paper size so by default it is a n s i full bleed so drop down list is there you can select the paper size suppose i am selecting a2 iso a2 paper size okay uh, i don't want portrait i want landscape so here a2 here see the landscape paper i want okay suppose i am trying to select the a uh, if our drawing is fit in this a2 paper size so is okay otherwise again you have to come here in modify and change the paper size okay then here in scale always just one is to one only here one thing uh, you can do one option is also available here that I will show you and everything is okay drawing orientation is landscape plot option always check it as a check plot object line weight plot with plot style plot paper space last hit on okay okay then close it here you will get a2 size paper now if you want to show the drawing here so you have to use the model view command shortcut mv enter okay see from this corner to this corner draw one rectangle okay now in this sheet i want to show only the ground floor okay i have written here in layout so just double hit on that if you want to work inside the sheet double hit now you can zoom in zoom out as per your requirement see this is our ground floor plan okay so what scale you want to use so see here you can see in the bottom most part click to adjust scale hit on this drop down list suppose 1 is to 100 scale uh, my drawing is scale I am taking 1 is to 100 as per that it is fitted okay now you can move it little bit here here I have given a space for my title block okay so that I will show you here in model see already I have taken the title block it will look like this in title block generally the information is given uh, you, you can write down the client name architect name structure consultant name project service consultant name okay title date drawn by whom approved by whom scale how much you have taken sheet is what okay so this detail actually uh, we have to write down in title block okay so that I will explain you how to write and here I have taken the legends also in our drawing whatever supplier return and diffuser we are using now so I have written SED 
this green color diffuser is supply ceiling diffuser red color is return ceiling diffuser and this magenta color line is acoustic lining see here i have drawn the acoustic lining also to prevent the vibration okay in the starting of the equipment in the starting only you have to take the acoustic lining so that flexible duct colors supply air duct color we have taken this one return air duct color is uh, a red color vcd everything in legend i have shown okay now come to ground floor layout so now the next thing we have to copy the here i want to paste i want to copy the title block so in model we have that title block just select that title block use the control sh sh control shift c cop command and specify the base point come here in layout paste it control shift v paste it anywhere now first thing you have to reduce the size so i'm using the scale command okay i have reduces the size then use the move command and move it here now exact we have to place here only so i'm using the dimension linear command from this point to this point how much total length 382.41 same way you have to scale the title block so use the scale command select the title block sc shortcut for a scale command enter specify base point for reference r enter now from this point to this point total length how much we want 382.41 enter now see the size will similar now delete this dimensions select that title block use the move command m enter specify the base point and place it exact here see and select this line here you can just take it like this okay now here write down the title in title write down the floor name so how to write first now explode it because it is in block so x enter now you can do the you can edit anything okay so i am just using copy command co enter write down suppose this is our ground floor na or you can write down the text okay see i am using the m text command t enter uh this is my ground floor plan or ground floor layout size how much uh, mm, 100 i am giving but see 100 is uh, actually we have taken the scale 1 is to 100 na so i think 0.1 is enough Zero point two, zero point four, okay, or zero point five you can take. This is our. It is not showing. Zero two. Okay. so here you can change the size as per your requirement okay how much you want as per that you can change it see the ground floor now you can write down the today days drawn by whom okay approved by whom scale how much we have taken the scale value 1 is to 100 na so just write down 1 is to 100 sorry i'm copying just copy it here scale i have taken for ground floor 1 is to 100 okay sheet a2 sheet na so write down here a2 sheet okay so this thing you have to write down then revision we have not done any revision so as per that you have to change each and everything okay so i hope that all of you understood now here i want to show the legends which we are using in our drawing so for that again i am using the multi, uh, multi view command model view command mv enter so now draw one rectangle from this corner point to this point okay see double hit inside this layout 
you want to show the legend here so see double hit this is our legend use the zoom command z enter from this point to this point i want to zoom see it is fitted here double hit outside the layout to come back from okay in this way we have to show the now if you want to uh, lock this display select that display right click here display lock option is given yes i want to lock now you when you hit double hit inside the drawing you cannot do anything because the display is locked if you want to zoom in zoom out so again you have you want to unlock the display then only you can do anything okay here also so in this way you can do now uh, if you want to print if you want to print this sheet uh, in pdf so that option is also available see what you have to do press the shortcut control p okay here you can see the preview see the preview is ready but see in preview the drawing whatever layout we have drawn it is in black color so if you want to see in color whatever color we are using in autocad so for that what you have to do here close preview window from here okay and here you have to come in uh, a application print page setup hit on modify see what you have to do in plot style table now from here you can plot one new style hit on new and here select as a scratch form start from scratch next uh, give the file name okay suppose hvac 0001 okay whatever just give it hit on next then finish okay close it now when you print now you will get the drawing in color control p see the preview now the drawing is in whatever color you are using green uh, this cyan color for supplier duct okay now same see one more thing i want to show you suppose in your drawing uh, in your drawing if you are using some light color like uh, any color you are using light color okay and in paper that light color will not visible properly okay so you can change the color as per your requirement in autocad file suppose uh, i will show you for supply air duct you can see we have taken cyan color okay suppose in paper you want to change only in paper you want to change the cyan color as a blue color let's say okay only in paper autocad in autocad file uh, the supply air duct color is cyan only but only in paper you want to change the color okay just close it first see now how to change it first open your uh, page setup in ground select the ground floor modify here see one option is given hit on edit from here okay what color you want to change i want to change the cyan color so in the plot select the cyan color and here what cyan color i want to change in blue okay we have to change the cyan color in paper as a blue so okay in the first column you have to select the color number four cyan color and in property in color you have to select the blue color save and close okay close it now just when you use the control p now see the preview in layout the cyan color for supplier duct is changed as a blue color can you see only layout only okay when you come in model now see it is cyan color supplier duct color is a cyan color only in uh, layout it will change when you print now in pdf file it will change as a blue color okay so this setting also you can do whatever color you want you can change it okay now what i am doing modify hit on edit i don't want to change color so i have selected the cyan color and hit on use object color only i want save and close okay close it now use the control p to print okay and hit on okay finally where you want to save in desktop hit on desktop i have given the name hotel building ground floor and see the file of type is written pdf file save it pdf is ready you can view the pdf file see this is our ground floor plan title block legend everything so in this way we have to create the sheet and title block I hope all of you enjoy the session. See you in next one.